My name is Ian Evavold. My name is Ian Evavold. September 10th, 2019. September 10th, 2020. I am 18 years old and I am a freshman at UND. I'm 19 and I'm a sophomore. I'm majoring in business marketing. Business marketing, but I'm going to double major into elementary education. I'm gonna add it on because I'm I'm pretty good with like kids. I've been thinking about it and it kind of sounds like it could pique my interest, so. Doing different things from high school because when you're in high school, you know everyone and it's just a repeat of what happened, but when you're in college, you meet a lot of new people and there's a lot of fresh faces, so. It lived up to what I said, like in high school it was just repeat basically, but right now in college you meet a bunch of new people. I've met so many new people and like the friendships that I've gained from that are like crazy and it's just, it's only been like a year of knowing them, but it's like almost like I've known them for so long, you know. I did sign up for baseball, uh, the tryouts, I ended up not going, and then I I'm going to sign up for intramurals, but I haven't done, I haven't really signed up for anything else, no. I am in a fraternity, so that is something. I did not expect myself to be in a fraternity at all, but after like meeting some guys and going to the fraternity house, I was like, okay, this kind of, I kind of like this. Don't wait the last day to do an assignment, 100%. Don't, because I do that way too much. Do not wait the last day to do an assignment at all. And then also ask for help. That's really good advice. And I have improved a little bit, but you know, and I'm a little bit of a procrastinator, so I gotta, I'm hopefully gonna just chip away at it and get better at it. Do little things to better yourself. Uh, I think the importance of like a mental state is so much more important, I think, than anything. Unique loud, fashionable. I would have to agree with most of that. The loud part I would probably cut down like a little bit. I'm not as loud as I used to be, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go artistic, clever, and goofy. Hardest part of this year is probably gonna be exams and remembering the amount of material. Um, yeah, I think that would be it. No, the exams are actually pretty, they weren't, they weren't easy, I wouldn't say. They weren't easy, you definitely had to study for them and put in some work, but they weren't the hardest thing, they definitely weren't. It was the getting up for class and going to class for me, yeah. 100%, 100%, I wish, I, oof. knowing what I'm in right now, oh yeah, I totally wish I could just go back and like go to class, wake up at like eight, brush my teeth, get all ready, you know, to have my day started, get to bed at a good time, not worry, you know. Yeah, definitely, I, I take that for granted. I wish I could go back. Meeting new people, 100%, because there's a lot of people that are from different places, like Wisconsin, there's someone from Philadelphia that I met, uh, someone from Wyzetta, just down in the cities, but it's just cool meeting new people. I mean, this is gonna be pretty vague, but just meeting friends, to be honest. I'm such like a, when it comes to friendships, that's like probably some of the closest relationships I can have and relationships are like some of the strongest bonds that you have in general. I mean, as human beings, you know? And the friendships that I've made are just, I know they're gonna be lifelong. So it's knowing that and hanging out with them all the time, I don't take any second for granted. I would say I definitely will have a different haircut. Um, that's gonna be the main thing that's different. I got a little bit of long hair right now, but I would also say that I, I don't think I'd be too different though. I've always been like myself, personality-wise, I've always been the same. Yeah, I was wrong about the haircut part. I got like the same haircut. The only thing now is like, I got hair on the sides. I didn't have hair on the sides when I, for, wow. Yeah, um, <laughs> I did forgot that I said that, wow. I definitely feel like I matured and I think I'm still myself, definitely. I think I, I might have added, added a few things from last year, but I'm definitely still myself. Ian, um, what up, dude? It's been a long 18 years right now. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I would say be smart. Okay. Listen to your parents 100%. Uh, and um, listen to your brother, too. Eh. And always have your mom do your laundry. <laughs> that. And then um, also, <laughs> I would say, this is kind of cliche, but chase, chase your dreams kind of, I'd say.
it's kind of cliche, but mm. uh, do what you love and find your passion and then pursue it. I, I agree with most of that. Uh, the mom doing the laundry thing. I've gotten better. I'm doing it myself. Well, I just use Tide Pods, so it's a lot easier, but um, yeah, I'm doing my own laundry. Yeah, but I uh, everything that he, that he said, it's me, that I said in the past, um, I agree with. I think I've followed that pretty well, too. I think last year, besides the right after spring break, the pandemic happened, but besides that, from March 2020 into August 2019, that was like my favorite year, like ever. It's it's just it's been so much fun. It's been so much fun just being in the college experience is so much so much more different than high school too, and just cool, you know, maturing and living your life and having a good time, you know. Yeah.